Hi everyone, this is Lola. Um, I wanted to share my process on my Hobonichi Illustrated Journal. Um, I haven't posted a um, Hobonichi daily video in a long time. Um, life has gotten the way and my process has changed quite a bit. It's a little more um, loose and I usually do not use a pencil. I've taking my Sojourner trifold uh, travel version with me and for example I often do a few pages while my daughter is at ballet and I'm, I have some time to kill but um, I will uh, try to explain how I've been working. I'm often like a month late which is the case right now. So what I usually do, I often have pages that look like this for a long time. In fact, right before I left, I think it was um, the third, I pretty much painted all these pages and tried to fill in the pages where I didn't have any photos. So the way I do my illustrated journals is usually I draw from photos as memories which is where the iPhone comes in super handy because if you look on the side they are by um, chronological order so you can look and often because I am a month <laughs> late what I end up doing is I kind of pick and choose my favorite days and I just draw those and then little by little I go back and I fill in the days either with Hobonichi challenge or anything like if I'm not inspired I mean this was like completely like loosey-goosey like I looked at myself for a reference but I do not look like this <laughs> and just drew some stuff and same for this one I think I asked my kids uh, tell me the name of an animal and just drew a panda because and unicorn because so it's really um, like I used to be <laughs> A little more organized. In fact, I think there's a few pages where you can really see how um, I don't necessarily think through first. Like this one, I barely had enough room to put all the photos I wanted to put. This one was I watched a movie and I started drawing this and I already had drawn this. I'm trying to be um, kind of okay with the chaotic look in it because when I look back I realize it doesn't really bother me and I just go with it like some days like I tried using mostly the zig um, uh, what did they call it? the zig clean color real brush which I usually use to color in um, clothes and people in general because I find them easier and with the Tomo River paper sometimes it gets oversaturated but um, you know, I, I often like practice my drawing. This is some artists on Instagram. These are photos I found. Um, really, it's all about how I felt that, like I love this page, it's all tiny, but I don't know, like it doesn't come out always consistently the same, which I think is what is interesting about this journal is like, sometimes it's very busy and like this page I went crazy I tried to do like a clamp because I went I was in Paris to see that um, exhibit and um, some days I have almost nothing you know because I don't know what to put and I think that's kind of the secret is to kind of go with it and try not to like self um, judge I don't know how else to say it um, criticize be like oh I'm not a I'm not I mean I am not I don't draw for a living I do this for fun I'll show you actually because I was looking I'll show you what this was my first year and if you look I think at my first page uh, which I started too early I was it's really a huge huge difference there were um, really a just kind of um, hold on there's some there we go. I kind of, you know, tried my best basically and I was copying a lot of things and then as the year goes you can see that I got better, I got I experimented more and everything and I just I just think that's the fun part and it just happens just from drawing and I don't do it daily. It is an illustrated daily journal, but there are days where I'll draw for five days and then there's obviously months where I don't draw at all as long as 
by the end of the year it's finished, I'm happy. So I was looking and the thing that I feel like drawing just happened. Uh, my daughter is suddenly obsessed with slime. She's seven and I took um, this picture, I can't, of her and I want to try to draw it. So all I do is this. I just got a new uh, pen. Um, which is the uni pen I was using well I used a fiber fiber castell I kind of used all of them I've had the um, oh, what is it called the pygmy micron and I used to use a uni pen pen but that was a little bit thicker yeah it was um it was 01.24 and this is 0.05 and I Notice the line is really thin and at first it threw me off, but I actually really like the way it looks right now. Um, I don't know once I color it. Sometimes I kind of want to keep them. See, this was the 01 and this is the 0.05. See the difference? It's quite huge actually. Um, I've been more and more debating if I like putting the color in because sometimes I actually um, love just seeing them you know, I don't know, it's almost cleaner. But so I said I was going to do a drawing here. And it's just a portrait of my daughter. Let me make sure. Hope you enjoyed this video and um, see you soon. Bye-bye.